Hey, what's going on, man? This is your boy Pancheesy coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're here to show you guys a couple of things. I'm uh, we're gonna show you guys uh, a quick look at my current profile that I um, was able to reverse engineer, add and subtract some things, and now I've basically made it my own. So, pretty much found in um, a profile um, someone made for AMS2, and I took that reverse engineer it and um, ended up with what I have today. All right, so we're gonna um, switch to Sim Hub here. We're gonna show you guys uh, the profile I'm currently using when I'm running Hypercar in the Mons Ultimate. Um, just a quick rundown. These are the colors, the main colors. Top right in quarter, you'll see um, gears, right? So right now it's in neutral. So one, two, three, four, five lights on the right, on the left side are gonna show purple. When we get into the gearing, you'll see one, they'll fill up accordingly. So one, then you see two lights, three lights, four lights, five. Um, they'll show purple on the right side all the way up to all, all the way up to seven gears. All right. On this side here, we have the fuel fuel consumption. So that will change based on the fuel level. Um, bottom right, we have um, battery consumption. And then uh, there's a little graphic that flashes around when I change my brake bias on the bottom left. All right. So there are some um, a couple minutes into this race, so you can see everything in action. Also, you have the car spotter. So left side, right side, you'll see that in action. And the bottom row will flash red when there's a car behind us. These two encoders should also flash um, white. When we are tire slipping, that's not really important to me. I just have it there, just to have it. Tire, tire slip, uh, no, traction activation, tire slip, you'll see these two flashing accordingly when that's happening on track. So we're also going to show you guys how to set up like a, a quick profile with a few settings. Keep in mind, for me, it was better to just find a good profile and just reverse engineer the thing and add and subtract what you need. The good thing about SimHub is that you can copy and paste effects and rearrange them however you need, right? So let's get the race pop in. Already you can see the spotter doing its thing. Gear indicators doing what it's supposed to. I have accelerated fuel consumption on so you should should see that working as well. We're gonna turn down the regen to allow the battery to drain a little faster so you can see that in action. The only thing this is missing, honestly, that would make this perfect would be the freaking virtual energy. There's, I don't think there's a way to get the virtual energy information in a readable form on SimHub yet. Green, green, let's go. So as much as I want to have the HUD off, every now and again, I still have to turn it on to see Whoa, to see how much virtual energy I have. All right. I think you guys get the point by now. All right. So we good. So right now, as you can see, we pretty much drained the battery. Um, fuel is going down as expected but the one thing that holds that back is the fact that like i said we can't get the virtual energy every now and again we still have to turn the hood on to see what's going on with virtual energy which for me kind of breaks the immersion factor just a tiny bit all right so now we're going to move on to actually showing you guys how to go ahead and add some basic effects to your sim hub situation so now we will switch to sim hub all right uh so we're looking at sim hub right now we're gonna go ahead and clear this so all default profiles you're seeing right now guys so assuming we're starting from scratch we don't have any profiles to refer to this is how you would add a couple basic things right so you want to start with a preset um you can actually edit these presets to your liking so me personally, I would probably, you can, uh, it doesn't matter which one. So um, this is important guys. So these numbers will correspond to the different 
buttons and this will come into play when you start applying the colors and where you want them and how you want effects to run so um we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and set a few things nothing too fancy so we'll leave the top two red um probably do that and green for that let's kind of mirror the same thing over here so we'll have red that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the bottom two buttons uh i'll probably do something like i usually like to have yellow yellow and either red red or green green all right so we'll probably just um actually we'll do green we shall do green all right so that's how you adjust the colors starting off with a preset and of course you can do the same for the encoders all right so i think we are gonna go ahead and leave the encoders red for now so this is our preset this is our base starting point so at this point in time this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start adding effects to our profile so the first thing we're gonna do uh we're gonna erase this and pretend like we're doing it for the first time all right so we're gonna go ahead and add a couple effect a couple of effects to a new profile here um we're gonna do car spotting we're gonna um just focus on that for today so we wanna actually we're gonna open up a group let's go ahead and um group these together let's cancel so we're gonna add a group we're gonna add an effect to said group So we're going to add an effect to the group. It's going to be, what are we doing? Car spotter left. We're going to add a, one more to this group. Car spotter on the right. All right. Where is it? Uh, what am I doing? Oh, car spotter right. All right. So we're going to go into each setting accordingly. I like to have, what's this? Fuchsia. So we're going to do, all right. So the star position, I think we talked about it before, determines where on the wheel the effect is going to start from. So in this case, star position is going to be the first button here. Um, so one, two, three, it's going to be an LED count of three. So we're starting at position one, which will be the first button on our wheel. Now we want a count of three LEDs to be associated with the effect that we're doing. So that's one, two, three. We go one, two, three. Only these three are going to blink for car when the car is spotting to the left. All right, so um, we want to then, and then you can change um, how you want the delay to happen. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can adjust that to preference. Um, we go down here. We can either do a different color on the right side, same color on the right side. So you're going to go with the same color. In this case, the start position is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a start position of eight for our left side with an LED count of three because we only want three LEDs to light up to represent this effect. So one, two, three, that's going to be an LED count. One, two, three. All right. So you can go ahead and close out of this. If Once again, if you want, you can set how fast or slow you want that blinking effect to happen. So we can go ahead now and close that group out. We're going to add one more effects group all right this is where you start to get into all that nerdy you know geeky type stuff with formulas and all of that which i'm not a hundred percent in understanding of but i will in reverse engineering the existing profile that i built my own profile off of um i do know that you need to determine certain things so I've already copied and pasted the formula that we, well, copied the formula that we need. 
So we're going to start with that. We're going to go ahead and paste that into where it says condition. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that into there. But for the first time, um, the first formula that we're using, we really don't want this value at the end of it. We just want everything within these parentheses. You hit OK. And then we will add one more formula. All right. So when formula is true, we go ahead and add that. And now when we paste this this time, we're going to keep the value that's determined at the end of it. All right. So that uh, that little thingy, 0 0.150, that's what we're using. So now that we established, I guess you would refer to it as the conditions for, when, for how these effects will be triggered, we go ahead and add one more effect to this grouping, which will now be a static effect. So we're going to now determine what buttons on the wheel we want to activate when um, the conditions are met. So we are done with the formulas for now. This time we just want an effect. So we're going for a static effect which we're now telling the wheel where it's going to light up and what it's going to do when the conditions are met. So now we want a start position of four in this case because we're going from one, two, three, four. So we're starting here on the fourth button right here. We need an LED count of four as well. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. That's going to be the LED count. All right. Um, by default, the LED count, it's going to go from left to right. All right? It's going to go from left to right. All righty? So um, we have an LED count of one, two, three, four. So we want it to, we're going to let it blink red to let us know that a car is behind us. And, of course, you can add or subtract from the delay I like it to blink a little bit faster than normal. So we're going to do, I guess we can do about 300. Right? So we're pretty much done here. So we have our two formulas. We started with the first formula. Added the second um, formula, which has the actual value determined. And we added our static effect, which um, LED count start position 4 with an LED count of one, two, three, four. All right. So we are now going to go back into the game. And um, like um, I'll definitely leave the formula pasted in the description of this video so you can go ahead and set this up at, uh, you know, on your own time. All right. So we are going to go back to our gameplay and start a race here just to see if what we did actually works and transition to the game correctly. All right, already you can see the left spotter doing what it's supposed to do. Let's slow down a little bit. And now someone's approaching from behind. The bottom four is now doing what it's supposed to do. All right. So let's get to the left of somebody to see if the right one is going to do what it's supposed to, the right side is going to do what it's supposed to do for the car spotting. Green flag, let's go.
and I like this because with this, I don't really have to run the radar if I don't want to. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I think we get the point. So, um, honestly, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's honestly just the gist of it. Uh, we can actually end the video right here, to be honest with you. But before we go, we're actually going to load up my current profile. So, with my profile, it just looks beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I love this thing, bro. Green flag, let's go. I will more than likely um, leave a link as soon as I figure out where I'm going to upload it to, to my profile in the comments, so. Alright, guys. Alright, that's it for the video, man. This was just a basic rundown of, um, let's give you an idea of what goes into creating these profiles, because like I said, you can do a lot with this. You can really get, you know, nerdy and geeky with it to create some pretty amazing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's it for the video today, guys. This is your boy, Panchisi. Be out of here, man. Bless up. You done know. Peace.